and Trump campaigns have been crisscrossing the country as part of that final push before Election Day, 15 days out. Hard to believe. And joining us right now with the latest on that, former State Senate President Mike Herodopoulos. Good to see you, Mike. How are you? I'm doing well. Good morning, Amy. Let's talk first about what each of these two campaigns need to do in these final two weeks. Well, it's, it's still uh, up in the air as we all see the polls are actually getting closer over the weekend. And of course, the exciting news today, early voting has started. It is so refreshing to see so many people online getting ready to vote driving up those numbers. Everyone has an equal voice. I hope everyone gets out and votes. But that said, Thursday night, another debate, the final debate between Joe Biden and Donald Trump. It will obviously be centered mainly, I think, on this latest revelation, of course, with the Hunter Biden emails has dramatically changed this race. It'll be interesting to see how both sides handle this issue. But that's the buzz. That's the chatter I'm hearing all weekend, not just, of course, online, but everywhere I go, they're asking a question. These questions need to be answered. And it'll be interesting to see how each side takes it. But before that, it's about getting the vote out because it'll be a turnout election to who will win, who will lose. Mike, if you were advising the Biden campaign and the Trump campaign, how would you tell them to handle that issue, the, the Biden uh, email issue during the debate? Well, I think more than anything else, I think it's incumbent upon Vice President or former Vice President Biden to answer honestly what happened. Clearly, these emails have pretty much been verified. Uh, some of Hunter Biden's old confidants have verified that these are actual emails. He needs to get out in front of this story and describe what happened. Of course, the Trump campaign will do the opposite. They're going to say, look, this just shows a pattern of corruption over years. But if I'm Donald Trump, that should be the media's job to, to ask Joe Biden that question. If I was Donald Trump, I'd say, you know, when I became president, I said we turned around this economy. Before COVID, we had the best economy ever. And we've changed the dynamic, of course, in the Middle East as well. We're hearing about these great peace deals with Israel and their neighbors for the first time, at least in my lifetime. That's what I think Donald Trump needs to be more focus on the positive. And I think Joe Biden's going to play defense these last couple weeks and try to keep that load lead he currently has in the polls. Do you think that we'll get a different feel uh, of this debate as opposed to the first one, maybe less interrupting, a little more listening? Uh. That would be so welcome, wouldn't it, Amy? I mean, I'll tell you what, it was really, really bad stuff. And I thought I was a little disappointed and also the recent, uh, I think it was Donald Trump on NBC, where the moderator was not really being a moderator. It was almost like the inquisitor in chief. Um, it seemed like President Trump had about 15 seconds before she interrupted him over and over. It was almost like a redo of the first debate. But I expect both men to be in a better state of mind on Thursday. They should both be gentlemen. They should get their issues out so that when people who are taking the time to vote starting today here in Florida early can really understand where they want to take this country. This nation deserves it. It deserves the healing touch that election hopefully can provide. And we need to come together and vote, but based on issues, not people yelling across the room at each other. All right. Mike Karadopoulos, good to have you with us. Thanks for being here. Thank you, Amy. Have a great week. You too. All right.